I'd like to uh, welcome everybody here to our first graduating group for Project Search and the interns here. I first want to uh, have recognition given to the interns so you know who we're talking about today. So if the interns can stand up and turn around and say hi to everybody. All right, thank you, gang. Uh, I also want to take a minute to recognize people in the audience here because without, uh, and as I call you, please stand up uh, as groups, without your help, support, and collaboration, this could not have been possible. So uh, I'd like to have anybody that works for the Department of Developmental Services please stand up. If there's anybody in the room from the Massachusetts Rehabilitation Commission, they've been a great partner in this. Anybody here from American Training? Anyone that's uh, here as a friend from American Training, please stand up. Anybody that's representing Opportunity Works, please stand. Uh, parents, guardians, friends, neighbors, anybody here of the interns, please stand up. And certainly none of this could be possible without um, the help and support uh, and, and encouragement from Northern Essex Community College. So please, people here from Northern Essex Community College, please stand up. So if you noticed, I think just about everybody in the room at one point or another got a chance to stand up and it, 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 it literally took all of us to bring this together and make us the success that it's been. And I think as the more, uh, afternoon goes on, you'll see and understand uh, how successful this uh, was for uh, this group of interns. So uh, the first person I'd like to come up and maybe speak a little bit about uh, started a year ago or so uh, talking about this and, and here we are now finishing off the first group uh, was, was from the Department of Developmental Services, uh, Ken Moran. Well, hello. hello. I didn't think we'd get here. <laughs> so, you know, Steve said about a year ago we started talking about this, right? Yeah, well, we started talking about it with Steve about a year ago when he came, moved back here. But we've actually been talking about this for years to try to get this going. So I wrote a little something down just so I wouldn't forget anything. So it was actually several years ago that I was part of an unfunded employment collaborative. And Linda Long, who works for Opportunity Works, director of program operations, was our president. And um, we were collectively working with not only DDS, but also the Mass Rehab Commission, the um, local career center, provider agencies like American Training Opportunity Works. Um, and we were all working together with the goal of obtaining meaningful employment for the people we serve. We did a lot of brainstorming. We applied for several grants um, to get some money to make these things all happen. The focus of one grant idea was internships in the healthcare field. We thought it was creative, innovative, and we worked really hard and fast to respond to the grant by the deadline, and we were very hopeful. And guess what? We didn't get the grant. <laughs> but we kept plugging. So later I was talking about that idea with a colleague, and she said, that sounds a lot like something my agency did in New Hampshire. And she got back to me and she said, yeah, it was Project Search is what it was called, and it was pretty successful. So Linda Long and I started looking into it, and we did some reading, and we were pretty intrigued. Um, Linda purchased the Project Search book, and she was adamant that we needed to find a way to do it. Then about that same time, under the leadership of our commissioner, Elin Howe, and Margaret Van Gelder, who's here, um, who oversees employment for DDS Central Office, DDS had adopt, adopted an employment-first policy. Stakeholders came together, 
developed the employment blueprint, and as a result of that, we're all looking at what was working, what wasn't, and determining what was worth putting some financial resources into that would get results. We're fortunate to have leaders like Elin and Margaret, and our Regional Director Mandy Chalmers, Merrimack Valley Area Director Ed Fitzgerald, Kelly Lawless, the Northeast um, Area Director, and our Regional Employment Coordinator, and together, a decision was made to fund Project Search. Linda and Jane were thrilled at the opportunity, and they were thrilled to bring Steve Valley on board, who couldn't have been a better choice to get this off the ground. And they couldn't have been a better choice than Jamie and Megan to run it and get it going. And I want to recognize them because they really have been the heart and soul of Project Search. So let's recognize them. So as excited as I am about it just getting off the ground, I can't believe how it's exceeded my expectations. The collaboration between Northern Essex Community College, Opportunity Works, American Training, Coastal Connections, Mass Rehab Commission, individuals, families, service coordinators, other DDS staff, to make this happen was and is incredible. But what excites me the most is seeing the dedication and hard work of all of you interns. I visited here a couple of times to observe and see how the program was developing. The interns were not only hardworking, but focused. When I visited, what I saw was people working with purpose, pride, and confidence. Over 30 weeks, we watched them learn, grow, and change, and challenge themselves. So thank you to everyone involved, and congratulations to all of you interns for this amazing accomplishment. Yeah, you're here. Let's give it up. You should be very proud of all of yourselves, and good luck in your future careers. But I have one last thing. I still don't know who gave me this parking ticket when I visited. <laughs> all right, but it wasn't you. But you know what? It's okay. Whoever it was was just doing their job. So to Northern Essex, here's the five bucks. Let's do another project search. All right. Thank you. Come on. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Ken. That's really great. Uh, Ken's not the only person. I think each of us, at one point or another, uh, parked without our passes, and we're I've been issued three citations. Um, and I'm fortunate enough that uh, they finally gave me something that allows me to pass uh, park without uh, getting a citation. So uh, the next person I'd like to have come up to represent Northern Essex Community College to talk a little bit about what this experience has meant for uh, of the college, for department heads in particular, and for all of the workers here, because uh, our interns are on this campus, they're also on the Lawrence campus, and they're at the Riverwalk campus. Campus, So we have an opportunity to participate in uh, the daily lives of all of the college students, all of the workers at all of the locations for Northern Essex. So George Murray, if you can come up and speak a little bit about it, that'd be great. Uh, first, uh, I am not the one who gave you the ticket, so, so uh, Ken, please. I'm innocent, but I have the name of the person who did, so if you want to talk later. Um, uh, thank you very much. I want, I'm here on behalf of President Glenn, uh, who supported this initiative uh, wholeheartedly. He's off campus today in a way, uh, but wanted to send his uh, congratulations to the interns, and also to David Gingerella, who's not here, who is also someone who was very instrumental in uh, getting the program off the ground here at Northern Essex. They were two, the two driving forces on our end of it. And on behalf of them, and I want to uh, thank you very much. And, but most of all, I want to congratulate all of the interns who are graduating today. Uh, you should be very, very proud of your accomplishments during your internship. All of you have made a tremendous contribution to the college. Uh, when I've talked to other colleagues across the, both campuses and Riverwalk, all we've heard is such great, great feedback about how wonderful the interns have been and what a great uh, contribution they have made. Uh, the college is pleased that we were able to sponsor eight interns, I believe, four on the uh, Haverhill campus and four uh, on the Lawrence campus. And we also had one, uh, Kathy, uh, was at our Riverwalk offices in Lawrence also. And uh, the job sites across the campus, I just want to go through a quick list, if I can, about where the, the interns were on both campuses. Uh, there were some uh, interns at the public safety on both the 
you, both Haverhill and Lawrence. One of the interns was working as a medical stocking technician in the health sciences at L. Hefney. Another intern served as an administrative assistant, also in uh, health services at L. Hefney. There was an administrative and event scheduling intern uh, working as an assistant there. Uh, one of the interns was at the, the athletic center in maintenance here in Haverhill. We had interns at the library and academic affairs working there in Haverhill. And food services both in Nextine and in Jitters, which are both located in Haverhill. <laughs> and also an intern on the grounds crew uh, here in Haverhill. I should also mention that uh, we at Riverwalk, where we have some offices there, also had an intern. Kathy's here. I did see her someplace. Kathy? Oh, there you are. I saw her right in front of me. <laughs> Kathy, thank you very much. Uh, Kathy did a tremendous job for us. She was uh, working at our front desk. She was uh, providing reception duty, helping all of the people who come in and out of our Riverwalk offices, guiding them to where they need to go. She's been terrific. She, uh, we want to congratulate her. I know she's uh, emblematic of what all of the other interns have been doing across the campus, making such a wonderful contribution to the college. I would like to take, if you don't mind, just a few minutes reading from uh, some feedback that we did receive from some of our colleagues across the campus. And uh, to, it talks a little bit about what the in, uh, intern experience is what was, the intern experience was for our staff here at the college. And the first one is from Lieutenant, Lieutenant Dan Tyrone. He was here, or he is it, Lieutenant Dan, back there. He's the uh, public safety uh, commander for the uh, public safety operations here at the college. And Dan took, uh, wrote these lines for us. He uh, wanted to take uh, talk, talk about Michael Prescott, who for the past, yeah, Michael, I, I recognize you, Michael. We met a couple of times. Uh, and he has spent an intern uh, at the public safety staff. He's been a, a sheer joy to work with. Everything I've asked him to do, he has met with great enthusiasm. His attitude and work ethic was second to none. All of the people working with him uh, going on the rounds were very uh, pleased with what he did, how optimistic he was, his outlook on everything. He constantly asked questions pertaining to the job so he could be better prepared each time he went out to do his job. Michael will, has been a true asset to the college and will be a true asset to any future employer. It was a great pri privilege for Lieutenant Dan to work with you and to tutor him. If the opportunity arose in the future, he would love to have you come back here and work with public safety. Be happy to have you back. Michael was a real joy. Thank you, Dan, for that. I just want to note I've never gotten that kind of <laughs> feedback. So I must be doing something wrong. Um, the, the other one is from uh, Linda Fagan, uh, Administrative Assistant in Academic and Student Affairs. Uh, I would like to share with you the outcome of my involvement with Project Search during the fall of 2014 semester. Three interns were placed with me, were very successful in completing their tasks assigned to them for our student faculty evaluation process. This part is, in, next part is amazing to talk about. Largely due to the intern's involvement, the part-time faculty results were available to our deans four weeks prior to when, when they would normally have been available. Four weeks. They were able to submit that. Our full-time faculty forms were mailed out for processing two weeks earlier than last year because of the intern's involvement with them, which resulted in receiving the results a week before the holiday break instead of in mid-January. That's a tremendous impact on the operations there. Uh, as you can imagine, shrink shrinking the turnaround time between the actual evaluation week and the obtaining of the results is advantageous to all who receive them. In addition, I know the interns were also in the position to learn soft skills, such as appropriate dress, how to interact with coworkers, coming to work on time, and managing their time properly. I can honestly say that all three interns placed in the student faculty evaluation area succeeded in these areas. Each of these interns was a pleasure to work with and to meet with and work with. I would not hesitate to continue this endeavor with Project Search in the future. And again, that was from Linda Fagan. Thank you, I don't know if Linda's here. Thank you. And we have two more that I'd like to read because I think they do capture the great impact uh, that has been happening on the campus with the Project Search and with the interns. This one is from Linda Hud Hudson. Where's Linda? I saw you Linda earlier. They are way in the back of the room. Hi, Linda. Hi. <laughs> 
Linda said, it's been a rewarding experience for me to see this group of young men and women grow each day. Each of them walks through the front door of the facilities every morning with a smile on their face. Each seemed happier every day with the opportunity to fulfill their new position here at NECC. Michael gave a wonderful and professional pre presentation at our Project Search meeting last week. You could tell he's very happy to be working with a public safety crew. At this time, Carolyn is helping me with filing, and I'm very thankful for her help, her help. Very thankful. And the professionalism of Jamie and Megan and Steve is wonderful to see as this group of young men and women prepare themselves to, for the workforce. So again, congratulations to the three of you. The, the final one I want to read is a very short one from Allison Gagney, an events, events coordinator. Allison says, I have found Carolyn posting the daily room schedules and reporting back whether or not food has been left in the room to be of an extremely helpful assignment. Also, I thought Mike did a tremendous job in articulating his joy to be working with security and how appreciative he was. Thanks from Allison Gagnon. And as I mentioned earlier, Kathy has been working in ARIA and has been such a wonderful uh, asset to us. She's helped us in so many ways. But I'm sure what I've read to you is the three or four that I've read in my own. It's just, I think if we polled all of the supervisors across the college, you would receive similar praise for all of the interns because we heard nothing but some wonderful feedback all the way along. They've been such a joy to work with. And as mentioned earlier, they have really made a significant contribution <laughs> to the work of the various departments but to the college as a whole, and we're so happy to have them here on campus. We benefited as a college greatly from your presence, and we want to thank you interns for working with us. I also want to take a moment, as others have done, to thank Opportunity Works, which sponsored the internship, and Project Search, which managed the program. You really have put together a terrific program, and a terrific, terrific initiative, and we, are, we commend you for your great work. I also want to thank Opportunity Works and Project Search for your commitment to the interns. That shows in how successful the program was and how, uh, how well the interns were prepared and what a great job they did. That's really a testament to Opportunity Works and Project Search and the way you prepare and work with them and your commitment and dedication to the interns. So again, thank you very much. Uh, your staff are clearly dedicated and compassionate individuals and it shows. Congratulations to all. Uh, we appreciate you, and you have done such a wonderful, wonderful job as interns here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, George, and uh, everybody that took time to write something uh, regarding the interns. Thank you for sending those uh, comments in. Uh, I would like at this time to bring up a partner that uh, if we didn't have them on board with us, uh, it wouldn't have been the success that it's been. Uh, it's Renee Robinson from American Training. Uh, there are several of the interns that are, are supported by American Training, and really without their uh, willingness to collaborate on this, it would not be the success it is today. So Renee, if you could come up and just speak a little bit, that'd be great. Ditto. No. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank you all. Um, it has been a pleasure um, to have this partnership with Opportunity Works, um, with Jamie and Steve and Megan, and we'd like to thank North Essex Community College for letting us come here. Um, this, I started out doing the interviews with you guys, and um, I um, really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, and I really enjoyed the weekly updates that Jamie would send to me and the wonderful calls that I would receive from her no. <laughs> um, to tell me about how well the internship was going. Um, I don't want to take any much time to speak any longer. I'd just like to say congratulations to each and every one of you. I am so proud of you today and know that we um, want to continue this relationship. Project Search has been such an experience. When um, I see the, the guys who've gone here um, in, the, in their faces and they express what they have learned and what they've also taught other people, it is a joy to know that we were able to be a part of it. So I'd like to thank everyone for allowing American Training to have this opportunity. Congratulations.
Thank you, Renee. Uh, at this time, I'd like to have Jane Harris Vale come up, uh, the Chief Executive Officer for Opportunity Works, Jamie, Megan. Uh, this is a time in, in the program that we're going to recognize uh, the interns and say uh, thank you to them. And some of them uh, are going to take a minute or two to speak and tell you a little bit about their own experience and how uh, Project Church uh, Search has impacted them. So, Jamie? So first, we have Michael James. He worked in the Library and Academic Affairs, Scheduling, Administrative and Haverhill, and Lawrence. Come on up, Mike. Kathy Curdo, she did medical stocking, administrative in Lawrence, and reception at the Riverwalk campus. Okay, I have a picture of Pumpkin, <laughs> my cat, who will be half of me. <laughs> my name is Kathy Curto. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you to, for coming to Project Church. I am so happy I did Project Church. I was a little nervous at the beginning. <laughs> But I learned lots of new things in 30 weeks. I learned new skills that will help me to find a job, a better job. I learned a lot. I made some new friends. I did enjoy working with everyone. I had lots of fun in great time. <laughs> okay. I cannot believe the three weeks of Puerto's dirt is over. It did help me a lot. And changed it in my life. Now it is time to think about it. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. Now we have Jonathan Boucher, and he did the landscaping crew, the athletic center, um, public Safety in Haverhill, Scheduling and Administrative in Haverhill. Next, we have Renitz Vega. He did Nextein Food Service, Public Safety in Haverhill and Lawrence, and he was the Athletic Center Assistant. Mm -hmm. 
I don't want to thank everybody for letting me work with them. I want to thank and thank them for being good for me and everyone working with all police staff with all friends and I'm glad raging. Hopefully I get a job. Next, Carolyn Curtin. She did library and academic affairs, scheduling and administrative in Haverhill, and she was a medical stocking technician. Next, we have Miguel Colom. He did public safety in Lawrence, and he did the landscaping crew. For the opportunity to get a better job. And next, um, she's not here with us today, but her uh, Holly Harrison, she did administrative in Lawrence. She was a medical stocking technician and she did next nine food service. And finally, we have Michael Prescott, and he did public safety, next time food service, and library and academic affairs. Um, I just want to say this this program actually changed my life and, and it's, it's, it's been a wonderful it complete my dream and I'm st I'm starting to go to Newburyport on on Monday so I'll be starting there and I'm gonna read something now to you guys My name is Michael Preska. I would like to thank for Northern Essex Community College and Project Search for helping me with my training and internship. I appreciate all the time put into it. I will miss everyone. It has been great. I learned a lot about myself working again. Thank you all. Wow. 
one last time for them. Some of them as early as Monday. Uh, there are there's somebody who is going to be meeting uh, with an employer, and, and if they're interested in the job, will be getting offered a job. Uh, so that's going to happen over the next week or, or two. Uh, there's another person that a company has us in working is committed to hiring somebody. Uh, if we uh, have a person who's interested in that job from Project Search, uh, that'll be their job. Both of those jobs will be jobs that'll be working uh, minimum wage and a minimum of 15 hours. And then the rest of them are actively seeking employment. Uh, we brought somebody on roll, and I'm going to mention you over there, this gentleman's standing over there. Uh, he's going to be working with people uh, specifically doing job development. Uh, we're working with the Great Merrimack Valley Employment Collaborative, and Heather has been working with us, and Paula from uh, Mass Rehab has been working with us. One has been working with us for uh, retail positions, the other for uh, security positions, public safety positions. So specifically the kinds of interests that people are telling us they want to do. So we're pretty excited about the leads that we have right now. And uh, one will be offered a job if they want it. The other is uh, probably going to get offered something within the next week or two. So pretty exciting for us. Uh, I want to end with a quote. Uh, people have heard me say this before. It's not mine, so I'll give credit to Booker T. Washington. And it simply says this. If you want to lift yourself up, lift up somebody else. And so please think about that as we venture into the next round of interns that will come in on Monday. Yeah. And this group of uh, interns who have finished and will now be uh, job exploring and looking for um, employment. Thank you, Linda. Thank you all. So, so uh, please stick around and talk with the interns and let them share some stories and uh, enjoy some food and drink. And thank you again. <laughs>